Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. Um, it feels good to say that again. I haven't said that in probably a month while doing Vlogmas. So it's fun. It's fun and you know exciting to get back into my original intro. So we are back to regularly scheduled program. If you are not new then yeah welcome back girl and welcome back to our regularly scheduled programming. So we're back to the fashion and lifestyle videos. Just get ready. Get set. Let's go girl. This is time. I know we haven't made it to the new year yet but I thought I would start off with a bang and you know I know everybody's kind of taking a break from YouTube right now a lot of the creators but I'm gonna still go I'm, I'm, I'm going full force into 2024 so um, today I have a winter essentials video for you guys so I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys the things that I deem as just essential for the winter season so you know keep in mind that everybody's climate is different I live in the south in Georgia more specifically and you know it's cold here like by our st our standards it's cold but i'm sure like by the standards from people up north this is probably summertime for some of you guys up north if you are watching me from up north um so just keep in mind like some of these things i'm going to be sharing with you guys are what i deem as uh, you know appropriate you know winter essentials based on where i live so just you know i want to be transparent and i don't want to give you guys ideas of what i deem is essential when i don't even use things um uh, like for instance like up north they would probably use like huge like puffer coats that are super thick i don't need anything like that in the south because it does not get that cold to need something like that but um i am going to share with you guys what i deem like i said as appropriate for the winter season um you know just based on you know where I live so um but anywho so we are gonna get right into the video and yeah I hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it all right so we're gonna start off with the beauty essentials um because it is winter time which means our skin is a little bit drier at least mine is um, it gets very dry um, in the winter time. I have like combo skin, so like I get dry pretty much around the perimeter of my of my face, like around the, really here, like my scalp area here. I get really dry, and then also get kind of dry on my nose. So um, I need you know moisturizer to help combat that. And honestly, full disclosure, I don't use moisturizer you know all the time. Like in the warmer months, I don't use it as much because my skin is very oily in the you know warmer months. So I really stack you know stock up and use a lot of moisturizer in the winter time so I'm gonna start with moisturizers so I have moisturizers for you know my face and also for my body so what I use for my body because I do have eczema and it gets really bad in the winter time in the colder months so those of you that battle eczema know what I'm talking about so this is what I use I think I've mentioned this before on my channel and in some capacity in one of my videos but this is um, by gold bond and this is the eczema relief skin protectant lotion um, and I absolutely love this. I use this year round, but I definitely need it in the winter time. And I probably use more more in the winter time. I use it more in the winter time than I do um, any time, you know, during the year. Um, but I do highly recommend it if you're looking for like a really good um, moisturizer. Even if you don't have eczema, I think this is a good moisturizer. It definitely keeps my skin, you know, nice and moisturized. And um, I definitely need it for like when I, my skin gets really dry. So definitely highly recommend it if you're looking for a good moisturizer. Definitely highly recommend this. I get mine from Walgreens, but you can definitely, I think I have it linked on my Amazon storefront. A lot of these things I'm going to show you I have linked on my Amazon storefront. Um, and I do have one in case you didn't know. I do have an Amazon storefront that I link a lot of my or put have a lot of my favorite items on there. So check it out. But yeah, definitely highly recommend this moisturizer for your body. All right, and then the next two moisturizers I recommend are mainly for your face. Um, the first one is going to be an OG of mine. I've been using this one for years, and this is by Peter Thomas Roth, and this is the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer, and this is what it looks like. This is the packaging here, and this one I get from Sephora, but like I said, I think I have this linked on my Amazon storefront as well. This is just an OG favorite of mine. I love this moisturizer. Um, it's definitely light weight but it definitely keeps my face nice and moisturized here's what the inside of it looks like so it looks like a little cloud actually and um yeah i highly recommend it definitely love this moisturizer it's not too you know too like greasy because i don't like really greasy moisturizers i mean i want to be moist but girl i don't want to be walking around here looking like a chicken okay like a piece of fried chicken <laughs> um so i absolutely love this one highly recommend it if you're looking for like a good face moisturizer this is a go-to for you and the next one i have is actually one that i've been trying 
selling out for the past I guess month or so and I got this actually during the Sephora sale I got some free samples and this is one of the samples that I had picked out and this is by it cosmetics and this is the confidence in a cream and it's a small little sample but a little bit goes a long way with this and this one is a little bit more thicker than the one by Peter Thomas Roth but it's still not too greasy this is kind of like what the inside of it looks um, I'm definitely going to buy the um, bigger size the um, yeah the full size one of this when I'm done using this because I love this moisturizer um, like I said it's a little bit thicker than the it than the Peter Thomas Peter Thomas Roth one but definitely it's a good moisturizer and definitely for my face it doesn't keep me you know it's not greasy or anything so just absolutely love this moisturizer so definitely highly recommend it if you're looking for a good moisturizer um, that's definitely a good one too for your face All right, now we're going to get into lip products because again in the winter time um, my face gets really dry my skin is really dry and my lips get dry too in the winter time especially so I have to have a good you know lip balm or you know some kind of lip cream to go a lip oil to go on my lips so um, I use these year round too but I definitely like to sample out and try different ones in the winter time because I use it the most in the winter time um, like right now I just have on like a lip liner and then like a lip balm so um, I'm gonna recommend two types that I've been using here um, the first one is by Summer Fridays and the first one that I'm gonna share with you guys this is in the shade or um, in the yeah, shade I guess um, brown sugar and then this one is in the shade vanilla beige so they're just these lip balms I think that's what they're advertised as yeah lip butter balms and just absolutely love these I just got these two um, during the Sephora sale I've been you know trying to get my get a hold of these because um, a lot of um, you know youtubers and influencers recommend these and I see why because they're really good like I have my one on now actually no I don't I have um, a different one on I don't have these on today but I have a different one different brand on today but see I was just about to lie to y'all <laughs> because I use them every day pretty much so that's why I was about to say I have it on now because I use these practically yeah pretty much every day and they're you know, like they're advertised as good lip balms and they're not too greasy they don't I mean like you close your mouth you know how some lip balms or lip glosses like make your lips like like stick together or something or they leave like that little nasty looking like little film or something yeah these don't do that so these are very much so hydrating and um definitely love them they don't have like as much tint to them as the other ones that I, the other two that i'm going to share with you guys so it's basically just like a little wash of color and i have highly pigmented lips so these wouldn't show up on my lips anyway but if you don't have pigmented lips and they, maybe they would show up on you but I love these and I definitely highly recommend them um, they're hard to get a hold to I had to order them online I never can find them in stores so maybe you can find them in the Sephora that you frequent but at the one that I go to they never have these in stock so I, I looked up and got them during the Sephora sale online but highly recommend these definitely love them and the next two lip balms these aren't really advertised as lip balms they are lip they're actually butter glosses and these are by NYX and they are the NYX um butter glosses is what they're advertised as and here they are these i have linked yeah these are linked on my amazon storefront as well i will link everything that i'm talking about in this video i will link it down in the description box so be sure to check down there along with my amazon storefront is also down there as well so just so you know um but yeah love these i these are like my holy grail ogs um i was using these before i got a hold to the summer friday um lip balms these are the ones that i've been using so this is what i have on my lips today so i have on actually this one this one is in the shade tiramisu which is i think it's some, probably the most popular one that a lot of you know beauty gurus and influencers talk about is this tiramisu one and it's just really like a pink but it's on me it's like a nudie pink so it's not like a pink pink if you will and i have it on today i just have like i think cork lip liner by mac um lined around my lips and then i just have this filled into my lips and um it's really nice and just really feels good on my lips it's not too greasy not too oily or anything 
and yeah i absolutely love it obviously you have to reapply these so especially if like you're eating or drinking something but they go on super smooth and they just really just moisturize my lips and i don't have to worry about walking out here with dry crusty lips girl these do the trick for me so um and they are affordable so these are the affordable route if you were looking for more of a bargain and these obviously a little bit more expensive because they are from sephora so you know you can pick and choose which one you want you know try either one out I just really like these two so you know it's just a matter of preference really but I like them both and they both do the job and keep my lips moisturized so um, highly recommend those all right so those are all the beauty products now we're gonna get into more of the fashion winter essentials that I think they're just yeah you just need these for the winter time all right the first fashion winter essential is going to be scarves and more specifically like chunky scarves because like i said it's cold outside and we want them to be nice and cozy and warm so one way to do that is to wrap yourself up in a good old scarf girl so this is the first one i have um and this one is in this red color as you know or as you can see and red is such a huge you know tr color trend right now so this is perfect to add a little bit of pop of red for me um, and this has like little tassels on it. This is actually an old scarf that I got from ASOS, I think last year, I wanna say. And yeah, just absolutely love it. I mean, it's super long. Let me try to back up so you guys can kind of see. But yeah, like you can't go wrong with like a nice chunky, you know, um, scarf for, you know, the, for the winter season. And yeah, why not go with a one with a pop of color? So, um, but I absolutely love it. And like I said, definitely keeps me warm. I can wear this with like um, neutral outfits. And like I said, have my little pop of color. But you just can't go wrong with scarves. I love them because like I said, it's like, these, especially these thick ones, it's like, you know, wrapping up in a blanket, uh, but not really. So it's just one, I consider it like another like little layering piece, if you will. And then I also have this one. And this is like one of the ones that were trending last year. Like these like patchwork, or not patchwork, um, but like... I don't know plaid printed kind of scarves these were huge last year I think this is a dupe for ones that I think the acne studios does I think it's acne studios I could be wrong but yeah I think they do scarves like this where they're like this like patchwork or plaid in different colors and this one I think I got from Shein I have another one in like a different kind of colorway I think the the other one I have the colors are more darker this is more lighter tone so um, it's a lot of color for you know the winter season. I know we most people do neutrals, but you know I think like one of my uh, resolutions as far as like fashion wise is to wear more color. I will get into that later though. I'm gonna do a video on my fashion um, like fashion goals for 2024. So I'm gonna do that video. So stay tuned for that, and uh, I'm gonna go more in depth with like what I want to do as far as fashion wise in 2024 so but that's one of my goals um so it's just a spoiler alert <laughs> that's one of my goals is to add more color into my wardrobe in 2024 so and I definitely will be doing it with this so um, I've been adding color anyway but I want to inject more into the, the new year so um but yeah you can't go wrong with a nice you know scarf a nice thick scarf like I said they're just essential you can just wrap up you know they definitely keep your neck warm especially if you have like a top where your neck is exposed or you just want again like another layer of protection you can also do like these little shawl kind of scarves where you kind of wrap up around like a blanket like yeah i love that i think they also have like little blanket scarves too so i will try to find you guys something similar because a lot of my pieces i'm going to show you are old so i'll try to pop on the screen like some similar ones that you guys can also shop to if you're in the market for any of these essentials that i'm going to be going over so that's the next one and that is scarves All right, the next fashion essential are going to be gloves slash mittens. And you know, you can't, you, you know, you can't talk about winter without talking about gloves and mittens because they keep your hands warm. Again, I like to be warm and cozy in the winter time because it's just too cold and I just cannot deal. Um, so I need everything to be covered, including my hands, because that's pretty much the part of my body that gets coldest quickly. And that is my hands and my feet. If nothing else gets cold, my hands and my feet are definitely gonna get cold. And when they are cold, I am miserable. So I need a good pair of gloves or mittens. And so um, I have two examples here that I wanted to share with you guys um, that I use. Of course, I don't have any leather gloves. I think I think I need to go find me some leather gloves and invest in like some leather ones because I don't have any leather gloves. Um, but you definitely can also have, you know, get you some leather gloves too. Um, but this um, is the first one that I want to share with you guys. I got these for Christmas, I think, last year. And I love these because I can 
like take it off like this and have you know my fingers free if I need to if I need to text or do whatever then I can have my fingers free when I'm like inside I don't want to take them off or if I need to you know text or do something with my phone real quick I can just remove this so I love mittens or gloves like this that have that option there where you can be like fingerless um, or you know remove um, a part of it that your hands fingers can be free to do what you need to do with your fingers so um, but this is from the brand Calvin Klein so yeah love these and I love like the gray like this marl kind of print to these so and these are super warm keep my hands super super warm so those are the first option and then I also have these I've had these in my um, wardrobe for years I don't even remember where these are from I'm sure I got these for Christmas one year too they're the same as the ones I just showed you it's just like a habit where I have like my fingers my fingers are actually in the glove and I can just pop on what I call like a little I call this like my little hat for gloves or my little hat for fingers um, and this here I can kind of like use this like little button to like put it down so that it's not flopping because the other ones I have as you can see they kind of like flop but these I can kind of put the finger part here on like this little button here and then when I need to cover my fingers, I can just tuck them away in here. So I love these gloves for that reason because, you know, I can just put them away if I need to, you know, like my hands to be or my fingers to be free or I can cover them up. So, um, but yeah, love these. Again, they to keep my hands super, super warm. And um, if I need to use my fingers, then I can just do that. So I love these kind of gloves for that reason. Um, like I said, you can get you a pair of leather gloves. I really highly recommend those too. I don't have any, um, but that's something that I need to invest in is so a pair of leather gloves. And here lately, what's been trending are the gloves that like go all the way up to like, I think they go all the way up like to your um, elbow. Those like long gloves. I really want those. Those are cute and trendy right now. Um, there are people who are using them for like fashion statement, you know, so, you know, why not be warm and fashionable at the same time so um, I'm gonna try to find some of those and link some of those for you guys as well and I may actually buy me a pair for myself too so um, but yeah so that's the next essential just gloves you can't go wrong with gloves I'm sure everybody has some you know I, I don't even have to tell you to get them out because you already know to get them out especially if you are a cold nature person like me you gotta have your gloves so that's the next essential and that's gloves or mittens All right, and the next winter essential, it's probably my favorite, um, or one of my favorite, I guess, winter essentials, and that's gonna be hats or beanies or berets. I'm a hat girl, I love hats. Um, I have all kinds of hats, and yeah, I, was, I just love them. I love this time of year because I get to wear um, a variety of my hats. So, um, I have a few here in my collection. Um, this is by no means all of them this is probably only a fraction of them um, but I just want to share with you guys a few just as for an example um, the first one or the first two I have are gonna be berets I love to wear these in the winter time I mean they just make your outfit just more chic um, and keep you warm too because we lose a lot of our heat through our head so it's important that we you know put on some sort of headwear headgear however you want to say it um, hat girl on our heads to keep us nice and warm it just keeps the heat in and keeps us nice and cozy so I love them and keep you you know cute looking cute and chic too and so these are from mango these are recent ones that i just got so i think they may be still available so i will link these so i got them in the two colors the green and the brown so um but yeah so i love a good beret moment and then i also have some like this this is probably more so for more people would wear something like this so this is like a beanie with like a little puff on it so this is just so cute especially like if you're going like at, um to like vacation somewhere where there's snow then you know little beanies or hats like this are just perfect um, and again look cute and chic and fashionable I also have little beanies like this just like normal little beanies like this um, this one I think I got from Shein this has like some little words on it just to add a little extra detail because you know we want to be nice and warm and cozy but we also want to look fashionable too this is a fashion channel so I'm gonna give you essentials but I'm also gonna share with you guys how to be fashionable too so just something a little extra with just like some words on it it's just something you know just add a little extra detail to your look where you're not you may not look like everybody else with your beanie on because you just have like just a little bit of detail with like some graphic printing or something on your cap so um, so that is another little beanie and then I also have another beanie from Balenciaga that I got last year I believe from uh, I think I got it from 
where did I get this from? I can't remember where I got it from, girl. But um, yeah, so this is um, another fashionable type of a beanie. So if you want to be fashionable and look chic and also warm, then I think this is a good option too. I'm not sure if this style is still available um, from Balenciaga, but yeah, absolutely love it. Cute little statement piece beanie. And then I also have another beret, another little fashionable beret. I should have showed this with the other berets, but this is like a beret with sequins on it. So again, if you want to be fashionable, but also keep warm, you can go with like a little sequin detail, um, little beret, perfect for, you know, actually the um, New Year's Eve. Um, if you want to add a little sequins or something, but you don't want to do too much, then this is a good option. Plus, like I said, it's going to keep your head nice and warm and toasty too. And then I also have another one. This one's similar to the um, uh, taupe color or beige looking one that I showed you guys. It's actually the same one, just in a pink. So if you like want to pop a color, because I think all the other ones I showed you guys are pretty much neutral for the most part. So if you want like a little pop of color to add to your wardrobe with like a little you know beanie hat then this is a good option too um again this is from Shein, so just to kind of add a little bit of graphic printing to you know your beanie so um so i showed you guys several different options as far as like hats and beanies um of course you can also do fedoras i think i shared fedoras in my last um essentials video which was my fall essentials like what you need for fall that video is up on my channel as well i showed that a few months ago so you can reference back to that so everything i showed in that video you know still can pertain to this video too i didn't want to show you know do both you know and just yeah i didn't want to do any overlap so this is just things that mainly you can do for the winter time but of course in my fall essentials you can carry over some of that stuff and wear it in the winter time too so um but yeah i think i talked about fedoras in that video so again you can wear fedoras as well in the winter time you know it's still a nice and warm and cozy uh you know headwear and also hats just regular caps i wear those too in the winter time but these things will these pieces here these beanies and these fedoras they are not fedoras the beanies and the berets they will keep you warm because they're made out of like you know sort of like a knit material which will keep your head warm so um but yeah so those are the next essential and that is berets or uh beanies All right, and the next winter essential is gonna be coats. Um, so this could be fur coats, it could be wool coats, it could be puffer coats, like anything that kind of just like floats your boat. And so again, this is like a preference type of a thing. Some people don't like wool coats, they prefer puffer coats. And some people don't like puffer coats, they may prefer, you know, a wool coat or you have some who are just, you know, fancy and just, you know, feeling bougie and may want a fur coat. I have all of them. So um, it's hard to really narrow down and show you guys all the ones that I have. So I'm just going to share with you guys. Um, I'm just going to do like a side screen here and show you guys some of the ones that I have um, in my wardrobe. So um, I love a coat. I, I think I probably go ham in the winter time when it comes to coats. And if I don't buy anything else in the winter time, I'm going to buy a coat. I'm going to buy a good coat and I'm always on this hunt for one. Um, I just recently purchased a couple from, um, I think from the Black Friday sale. I purchased a few. I got a burgundy one. I've been really, really looking for a burgundy coat. So I finally found one from Macy's and it's by Ralph Lauren and it is beautiful. It's just so such a gorgeous coat. I think it's out of stock. I don't think it's any no longer available, but um, I'm sure you can probably find a burgundy coat. I'll try to find, like I said, some similar. If, you know, I can't find the exact pieces, I will try to find you guys something similar and link it. Um, and I also just got a black uh, wool coat, long wool coat from Mango that I absolutely love. I've been, I think I told you guys in vlog, during Vlogmas that it took about two or three weeks for me to get that coat, which is a long time. Usually Mango shipping is better than that, but I guess because of holiday season and everything, it's shipping was just taking a little bit longer. Um, but I absolutely love that coat too. And then I just recently purchased some fur coats um, I think I got one from Fashion Nova I got one from ASO some like a bluish green color um, I got one from this brand called Red Dress that's based out of a um, boutique here in Georgia so um, yeah I just kind of like I said I go ham in the winter time when it comes to coats um, but I do get rid of coats that I no longer want so because I don't have I don't have room for coats because you know coats take up a lot of space so I have to be very selective of the coats that I bring in and I have to make sure I get rid of the ones that I don't like that I'm not feeling anymore that you know that just don't fit my vibe for that particular moment so um yeah so um I love coats they just really just can 
they really are just the star of the show really especially in the winter time because you're layered up in coats and you know and hats and scarves so really those pieces are your basically your fashion statement because no one can see your outfit really because you have a coat on unless you know until you get inside and then you can take it off and everybody can see your outfit girl but for the most part your coat is the star of the show so i love to invest in a nice you know coat or outerwear because that is going to be my centerpiece of my outfit so um but you just can't you know you just can't go wrong with a, a coat uh, of any kind you know whatever floats your boat you know you definitely need it you guys know you need it because it's cold and so you want something to layer up with so um, but you know get you a good fashion coat because you know like I said it is the star of the show so it might as well be something nice and you know cute and also you know something um that's good quality i love a good wool coat wool coats are you know keep you warm and they're good quality and they last so you definitely want to invest in your outerwear so um but yeah so that is the next winter essential and that's coats I like i think that's a no-brainer i think we all know we need a coat in the winter time but i just thought i would share with you guys some of the ones that i have so but yeah that's the next one that's coats All right, and the next one essential is gonna be like tights or thermals or like fleece leggings. So any kind of like layering piece for your legs um, is definitely an essential for the winter time. Um, it's just one way to further, you know, layer up and further keep you nice and warm. Um, because we know most jeans and whatever, you know, bottoms that you wear just alone really don't quite keep you as warm. I mean, unless you're wearing like, you know, a jogging suit or something or, you know, um, a sweatsuit and you know that's that's gonna keep you a little bit warmer than let's say you know if you're like me and you like to wear um jeans or i like to wear skirts in the winter time too so i need something on my legs to keep me warm so tights or leggings or fleece leggings but you know more specifically are just good layering pieces to keep your legs nice and warm and toasty so i have a few examples here um that i just recently got so these are some red tights and these are from sheer Techs. And these are super thick I've worn these several times over the last month or so well yeah the last month um, and I just absolutely love them I don't think they're still available on the sheer text website but I did find some similar on Amazon and these are just super thick and just very nice and comfortable and again they provide a little bit of uh, a little bit more you know warmth and layer protection for my legs because I do have long legs so I need to make sure I keep them nice and warm and toasty so um, whenever I wear a skirt um, I like to wear leggings or tights or, you know, pantyhose of some sort to keep my legs nice and warm. And then the next ones I have, these aren't exactly the warmest, they're not as warm as the red ones I showed you, but these are a pair of like these embellished tights and these are huge and trendy right now. And I wanted to try these out. Um, and like I said, they're not the warmest, um, but they do provide a little bit of, bit of warmth and protection to my legs. Um, and I can also just layer these um, up with um, like some black um, trousers or something and just have like this little detail popping through. So um, they're actually like a um, fishnet type, type of style. So if you wanna kind of add a little bit of warmth to your legs, um, but you want to also look fashionable, but this is just a good option. And of course you can just go with some plain, you know, sheer black tights. Um, I think those are, those are huge and trendy right now too. And I also just found some, um, fleece leggings from Amazon that everybody and their mama and their grandma have been talking about. So I wanted to see what the hype was about. So I ordered them. They're on the way. They're not going to be here until tomorrow. So unfortunately I don't have them, but I'll try to pop a picture so you guys can see them. And they're just pretty much a fleece legging kind of tights, but they look like um, like a black sheer tights and I think they have them in several colors but they're lined uh, fleece lines so it's a way to kind of look like you have on tights but they're gonna keep you a little bit warmer so I'm gonna try those out I'll get back with you guys and let you know once I get them how they how I we you know what I feel about them but they are from Amazon and I will link them down below if you want to check them out too but um, I'm gonna try those out and see if um, how they look you know how I how I feel about them so um, but yeah, you just need a good, you know, pair of leggings, you know, thermal leggings, fleece leggings, um, tights or something like that to really keep your legs warm. Like, like I said, especially if you wear um, skirts or if you wear trousers, because trousers aren't really thick. Um, so you need a little bit extra protection. So, you know, thermals, leggings, that's just one way to add a little bit more warmth to your legs. So, but that's the next option and that is going to be tights. 
right, the next winter fashion essential is going to be chunky sweaters. Um, I kind of have one on now. It's not as chunky as the ones I'm going to show you, but chunky sweaters are just essential for the winter time, especially if you cold nature again, like me, and I need something, you know, that's going to keep me nice and warm up top. I love a good chunky sweater. And, you know, you can also, depending on where you're going, what you're doing, you can just actually just wear a chunky sweater out, especially if it's not really cold. Like here it gets the highs here in the South. Um, in Georgia it gets like in the 50s so if I have on a chunky sweater I can just layer on like um, any of my layering pieces um, that I share actually shared with you guys in the fall essentials video like a you know a turtleneck or something I can layer that underneath a you know chunky sweater and I probably could be fine with being warm and just put me like a scarf on and I'm good to go like I don't even have to wear a coat if I don't want to especially if I have a really thick chunky sweater so the first one I want to share with you guys is this one and this is super chunky and this actually has a little turtleneck um, detail to it so I really don't have to wear a scarf with this because my neck is going to be warm with this turtleneck um, but it is super thick and I'm trying to see where I got this from this is from Zara so I think I got this from Zara maybe the beginning of the year maybe I don't know but as you can see I love stripes stripes are probably one of my favorite patterns and this is just a long chunky chunky sweater and this is long where I can wear like leggings with it so um, I love this sweater and I love like the little detail here at the cuff like this little split detail here at the cuff so um, but this is just a good piece to have in your wardrobe a chunky sweater and especially if it has detail like a little stripe to it just to add a little bit of you know fun you you know detail to your outfit so um, but yeah so that is the first one and that's just the striped one and then I also have a brown one that I love this one I've had for a few years now and it's from mango and it's just in like this brown color I love brown um, during this season so and this one is a little bit more of an open knit than the one that I just showed you so I definitely would layer on um, or underneath it like a turtleneck or some sort of like you know long sleeve top or some kind of thermal too you can layer a thermal underneath a chunky sweater um, if you don't want to wear a coat um, and if you do wear a coat with these chunky sweaters it's gonna have to be like an oversized coat so that's why I order size up in my like coats because I want to be able to wear a chunky sweater um, underneath it um, if I need to or if I want to I have that option so um, but if I don't want to then of course I can like I said layer underneath it if I'm gonna be wearing a coat with something like this I'm not gonna layer too much I may wear like a t-shirt or um, like a short sleeve t-shirt or like um, what you call it, like a little tank top or something but I'm not gonna layer on too much underneath this if I'm gonna wear like a wool coat because it's gonna be too much and I'm gonna burn up so um, so it's just preference again like it depends on where you're going what you're gonna be doing how you layer up so um, but I love chunky sweaters because I can just do so much with them and they provide warmth and they also provide a fashion element too and I love to style up a chunky sweater with like a um, like slip skirt or I could put this over like a a maxi dress or something like a slip like a slip skirt or a slip maxi dress or like one of those what am I trying to say not a slip maxi dress but a um, satin maxi dress is what I'm trying to say because I have several of those and I can just layer this on top of that so um, but they're just good wardrobe essentials you can't you know you need a good chunky thick sweater um, especially like I said if you cold natured and you want something to you know to wrap you up and make you feel nice warm and cozy and feel like you're wrapped up in a blanket then you can't go wrong with a you know nice chunky sweaters but yeah so that is the next essential and that is going to be chunky sweaters All right, and my next and final um, winter essential is going to be uh, Ugg boots or any kind of boot or footwear that has like some sort of a lining in it because again we're talking about warmth and we want to be warm so we want something um, that's going to keep us warm because I told you guys earlier I get cold quickly or the fastest um, rather in my hands and my feet so I need my hands and my feet to be nice and warm and toasty and, um, and I'm set so um, Ugg boots because they already they do come with a lining in it um, and they're trending right now too so um, I'm gonna share with you guys my Ugg boots but then I'm gonna share, share with you guys some dupes so um, these are my Ugg boots that I've had in my wardrobe for a few years now probably three three or four years probably more than that and I love these because they have like a little bow detail on them which bows are huge and trendy right now so if I'm gonna do a bow it's probably gonna be with something like this um, but I love these um, like I said I've had these for a few years and as you can see they have that shearling shearling lining in them so 
sometimes I even wear these without socks. I know that's gross. Um, but um, because if I wear like thick, chunky socks, my feet are going to burn up. So it's like one extreme to the next, right? So um, when I do wear socks, it's going to be lightweight socks, like very thin socks. Because again, this is already lined. So I don't need to have too much um, on my feet because my feet will burn up <laughs> and I will get really hot fast. So, um, but I love these. And so these are my actual Ugg dupes or Ugg boots and then I actually have some Ugg dupes in case you can't get your hands on any Ugg boots. I'm, I think the ones that are trending now are the ones that actually look like this which are I think the mini. I think they're the minis and they are very difficult to get a hold to. My daughter wanted some and I've been was searching the internet high and low trying to find them and I could not so I ended up just getting her um, these. Um, these are mine but I got her some similar or her actually got her the same ones too from Amazon. So these are from Amazon. They're just a dupe and they look just like the Ugg, dupe, uh, Ugg boots, right? Like these look just like them except they don't have the branding on them. So if you want to try out the boots or if you just can't get your hands on the actual ones then these are a good option. I got these um, I don't even remember why I got these but I've had them for a while and I wear these a lot so um, and I love like the chestnut color of these so and they also have the lining in them as well just like the Ugg boots. The, the lining in these aren't as like fluffy as the ones in the Ugg or uh, the ones that come that the Uggs make um, but nevertheless they still have the lining in them so they're not as thick but they still keep your feet nice and warm too so if you just don't even care about the brand and just looking for practicality and you're just looking for something to keep your feet warm, then you can just go with the um, dupes. I don't get hung up on brands like that. Like, you know, I'm not like a brand like, oh, I got to have the brand. I can't do the knockoff or the dupe. I'm not like that at all. If you, if you guys have been following me, then you know I'm not like that at all because I'm always trying to find a dupe of something expensive because if I can find something that's similar to the higher end item, then I'm going to do it because um, I like to say coins over here. So. Um, but like I said, if you're looking for practicality because they are very practical, they aren't the most fashion statement type of footwear, um, but they are trending. So right now they probably are, you know, more fashionable than they have been um, just because again, like I said, they're trending. But if you are looking for just practicality girl, then those are by far the best type of uh, footwear that you can invest in and get. So highly recommend Ugg boots or any kind of boot with some sort of, um, you know, you know lining in them whether it be like shearling or maybe like a faux fur just something that's going to keep you nice and toasty as far as your feet so um but that is the last winter essential and that's going to be ugg boots or any kind of footwear with any sort of a lining in them All right guys, so that's it. Those are all of my winter essentials. I'm sure I could have added on more, but I really was racking my brain to even come up with these. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do too much. I'm not gonna do too much and go overboard. Like these are things that I wear in the winter time. So I'm not gonna, yeah, I didn't wanna do too much. So um, I think I gave you guys nine, um, yeah, nine essentials that, you know, I feel like everyone, everyone should have. So um, if you don't have any of these pieces, you know, be sure to check down in the description box. Like I said, I will link something similar if I can't find the exact pieces that I have or that I showed you guys in this video. I will try to find you something similar in case, like I said, you're in the market for you know some winter essentials that you don't have so um or if you're looking for some more to you know add to what you already have because i'm all about variety i like to spice it up and do you know do something different and um that's just me you know so um but i will leave you some options down below in case you are interested in the market for some so but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed um seeing what i deem as winter essentials and yeah if you did like the video be sure to like and subscribe because it for sure helps my channel out so thank you guys for watching and taking the time to spend with me and i will see you guys in the next video all right bye guys